Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I am going to be doing a try on and comparison video of some of the top rated biker shorts that I purchased off of Amazon recently. Roll the footage. For reference, I am a US size 10 to 12 and also a large in most tops and letter sized items. I am five foot seven inches, so hopefully that gives you guys a reference point of how these are gonna fit my particular body. Now, make sure you do stay tuned to the end because I am going to tell you which pair of these shorts I am running to buy in every single color. Let's do this. So the first pair of biker shorts that I purchased are by Joy Spells. They are the Joy Spells biker shorts for women with pockets, high-waisted workout running shorts with breathable side hollow out design. This is the brown leopard pattern in a size large and these ran me $16.99. Now, something that is interesting about these shorts is this hollow out design, and I will be honest with you guys, I did not really realize that when I was purchasing this pair, and I think that that is kind of weird. So basically, where the inseam starts, um, which an inseam is from the crotch to the hem of the pant, that's the length of it, and these are a seven inch. But basically, from where the inseam actually starts, it's no longer lined on the side, so they have this like stitching that's see-through on your skin. And I think that that's totally fine if that's your thing, but to me, on this pair of shorts, it makes it look like you're kind of bursting at the seams, which I think doesn't look that good. And when I noticed it, I was like, oh, they're ripped. And then I had to like go back and look at the fact that they were intentionally designed this way, which I thought was very strange. So I did a squat test and I jumped around in these pants in the video that you're watching, and they definitely passed the test on those fronts. However, I do wanna say, I wore these around my house and I was playing ball with my dog, so we were running all around the house back and forth um, and I was bending and stuff to like, you know, get the ball. And I did think that they started to roll a little bit on my thigh, which I thought was kind of a huge downturn to these pants. Otherwise, I thought I kind of would have liked them. A couple other things to note is that they have this four inch waistband, so it's supposed to give some tummy control. Um, I don't. I think it kind of does, but it's not in any way like a compression thing. So if you want to be sucked in by your biker shorts, this is probably not the route to go. They also have two hidden pockets. They're both in the interior waistband. So there's a small one here that you could put a house key in. Um, and there's one on the back, like so many pants have, that you could probably put a credit card or something in. Um, they don't seem too secure to me, so I probably would not do that with these pants. And that's not really something... I look for in a pair of biker shorts anyway. But yeah, overall, I loved the length on me and I loved the pattern because the pattern especially really hides cellulite or problems like that if that's something you're concerned with. And for me personally, it is a major concern. The second pair of biker shorts that I picked up off of Amazon are by Ling Swallow. These are the Ling Swallow biker shorts for women with pockets. They are described as high waist yoga workout running shorts in an eight or four inch inseam. And they are also called compression biker shorts. So these ones are an eight inch inseam pair and I opted for the black gray leopard, which to me this pattern is definitely like leopard underneath, but it has what kind of looks like a black brush stroke over the pattern. So again, really good for camouflaging cellulite. Some things to note about these pants. These ones have like a five inch waistband and they also have this extra like good thick elastic at the top. So when I pulled these up, they stayed put and I really loved that feature. They're also compression, so they do a little bit of, you know, actual tummy control and they make you feel sucked in and like held in so you can run and move really easily um, and nothing's gonna like jiggle around. Okay, this is like the most pocketed pair of, <laughs> of biker shorts around. They have an interior waistband pocket that could go for a house key or a credit card if you guys are into that kind of thing or need that feature. But they also have the two large side pockets on the pant leg. I love these because I love to just be able to easily slide my phone in there when I'm going about my day and I find myself using that feature a lot. These pants are also supposed to be moisture wicking and they are supposed to be squat proof, all of that. And then one other feature that they bring to your attention is that they have this gusseted crotch. 
So whereas there are a lot of biker shorts out there and yoga pants and workout clothes in general that kind of like can cut and be very uncomfortable on your nether regions, these ones have more of that triangle shape. So they're a little more comfortable for wear down there. Um, I will tell you guys, as I was putting these on and off when I was doing the try on video, I was sweating a lot because my room was very small and I had a lot of lights on me. And they, um, I, you know, they went on and off so easily and I was kind of surprised by that. So that whole like moisture wicking thing might actually be something to that with these. These ones did run me $1 more, so they were $17.99. And overall, I really loved these. One thing that I wasn't totally a fan of about these was the fact that they're the eight inch inseam and I actually think the seven inch would it suits me a little bit better, but I don't wanna go as short as a four inch. So I wish they would make these shorts in a seven inch inseam and then life would just be so perfect. The third pair I picked up is another of the Joy Spell pairs and this is in the gray tie dye color and pattern. They were $16.99 and they're also the seven inch inseam. You guys should give this video a thumbs up right now if you're with me in the fact that you're still not totally over the tie-dye trend and maybe I'm not as into the colorful stuff but the monochromatic tie-dye stuff I am all about it these days. This particular pattern is also going to do a good job of camouflaging anything you got going down on there that you don't want people to really be seeing. And it has, again, this hollow out design on the leg. I think it's a little bit less noticeable on this pair for whatever reason, probably just the pattern disguises it more. Um, this pair also has the gusseted crotch, so it's a little bit more comfortable for wear. And I will say um, interior pockets, same kind of design. I think that the four inch waistband does a decent job of like having some form of tummy control, but it's definitely not compression wise. And I think I actually like compression a little better, but I also think these are comfortable. I just worry that they're also gonna roll a lot when I'm going about my day. I feel like for that reason, I would be so annoyed by these pants that I might not be able to fully recommend them. At this point, I think I'd be willing to give them about a three out of five stars. So the fourth pair of shorts that I got, I actually don't have them on me right now, but you can watch me try them on in the little overlay video. They are also a Ling Swallow pair, another of the eight inch inseam, and they are in the gray and black camo pattern. I actually went about my entire day wearing these shorts, running errands, cleaning my house, doing all the things that I would normally do, and I thought they were so freaking comfortable. Um, I was able to put my phone in the pocket, um, also my key, and I was able to just like so easily move around in them. They kept me really compressed and feeling like confident. And I also think the fact that these are $17.99 is just kind of amazing because I think the price point is really good for the quality that you get on this particular pair of biker shorts. They are just a nice thick material, which I like all of my biker shorts and leggings, anything kind of spandexy and tight to be a little bit thicker because then it really does feel like you're, you know, secure in them. It feels more like a real pair of pants than as opposed to wearing tights out in the world. All right, so which pair am I dying to get my hands on in every single color? If you guys have made it through the video, then you will probably realize it is definitely the Ling Swallow pairs. They are incredible. I have to give them five out of five stars as far as just performance and quality and price point. Um, I'm actually gonna be wearing them on my upcoming trip to Disney World and I can't wait because I think I'm gonna be a lot cooler for it. Um, and I'm not someone who wears a lot of shorts so it's kind of taking me out of my comfort zone but I have all these outfits coordinated. If you guys wanna see those, let me know in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up yet again. And while you are down there, you can go ahead and mouse over and push subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So as usual, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask those in the comments below and I will start responding to you as soon as possible. I will also link all of these shorts in the down bar if you were interested in getting your hands on some. They have very limited colors and options in the Ling Swallow pair, but I'm really hoping that they will start to kind of like broaden their horizons because seriously, they're so amazing. Five out of five, cannot recommend enough. If you are just dying for more of my content, make sure you head over to Instagram. My handle is at Bazaar. Give me a follow because I hang out there every single day. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.